Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another Tai Tai haul. So I know I have like two or three um, Tai Tai hauls already up on my channel and I only have like 40 videos or something. But you guys seem to really enjoy uh, these videos so I figured might as well film it. Um, I did go to Tai Tai the other week and I got a ton of stuff and all of them are super inexpensive so I thought I might as well share it with you guys. So that's what this video is going to be about. Before we get into the video, I want to apologize about my voice. Um, I've been sick for the past few days and that's why I sound kind of weird. Uh, and I just wanted to apologize about that before the video starts. And now that I've done that, let's get into the haul. Okay, so first I want to show you guys the leggings that I got because I realized that at the beginning of the sem, I like to dress up, I like to think of my outfits, but towards the middle and um, the end, I just do not have the energy and the time to actually think about my outfits and I just end up wearing leggings because they're comfortable um, and they're easy to pair with basic tops. I'm not really fond of pants, that's why I like leggings and I picked up two leggings. So this is the first one. I don't know if you guys can see the detail, but they're are like gray stripes on this so I really like this it looks super sleek and I got another one in uh, violet I like this because the print is super interesting and it's like different shades of purple which I think is super cute both of these feel super soft but they're not the type of fabric that when you throw them into the washer after a while this is the shot I hate it when the fabric has those like small little, I don't know what you call it, but sunnisness. I hate it when that happens. And these fabrics won't do that even if you wash them over and over and that's why I love these. To match the white leggings that I got, I bought this top which I think is super interesting because I think it's a really nice item and I was pretty surprised that I found it there. So this is like an oversized crop um, sweater hoodie, I don't know what you call it. So it's white, it has this ribbon and then the uh, pockets in the front. I, I like this because it's cropped but it's oversized for me. Also, I've been loving white lately and I don't know, it looks really sleek. Um, I also like that it's kind of just cut at the ends. Plus, it's super, super soft and the fabric feels really, really nice. The next thing I got is also a sweater, which is pretty weird because it has this Forever 21 tag on it. I'm not sure if it really is Forever 21 or if it's like an overrun or something, but it is this um, beautiful red sweater and it's slightly, slightly cropped. I mean, if you look at it, it's not your regular length, but it's super soft inside. It has like this wool texture and it's super, super warm. I like buying sweaters because I'm the type of person who gets really cold really fast. So I always need a jacket or a sweater with me. Even if it's a hot day, I just need to have a jacket because you never know when you're gonna step into a room and then suddenly it's just freezing cold because of air conditioning. That's why I need a jacket. And another reason why I love this is the color. This is such a beautiful red. I don't know why, but this type of red is like super in right now. And that's why I love it. And this was super, super inexpensive, which is always a plus. So the next thing I got is this um, blue long dress. So the cut is definitely below the knee, that's how long it is. And I really like this because of the fabric. When I tried it on, it's definitely the type of fabric that hugs the body, which is always a plus, but I would not recommend you wearing a dress like this if you're going to dinner because, like I said, it hugs the body. I also like it because of the color. There were other colors there, but this one specifically was the one I was drawn to because it just looks super, super classy together with this like straight cut 
at the top and these straps it looks super classy but what people don't know is that it's just like a 120 peso dress which is amazing because this dress is a complete steal and I don't know I feel like the quality is pretty good for the price so the next thing I got are shirts I realized I lacked shirts in my entire closet I was just never the type of girl who liked to wear pants and shirts I was always pretty extra my entire life but I realized that as a college person and as someone who does not have time to think about outfits sometimes shirts and pants are sort of a staple so I'm trying to work my way into buying more of the basic things so I bought three shirts they all look the same but they're just different in color so they look like this the fabric is what really caught my eye because I don't know if you guys can tell but the fabric is ribbed. I don't know if that's how you call it but that's how I describe it. But it's ribbed and it, it's a pretty thick uh, fabric which I think is great for a shirt like this. I also like the detail here. Um, at the top and here at the sleeves that there's this white rim and I think that it's super cute that it's striped so this one is striped with red I bought one that is striped in blue oh, this color blue is super super cute it's like a baby powder blue and I also got it in green so it's this beautiful green color that's almost but not quite a turquoise and I think that all Three shirts are super super cute and I think each one was just like 80 pesos which is amazing because of the fabric I know I've been talking about fabric this entire video but for me when you look at the piece most of the time it's the fabric that tells you whether it's expensive or inexpensive and I was really surprised with a lot of the um, items that I got because all of the fabrics were pretty pretty good for the super inexpensive price and I mean look at that great fabric it's cute and inexpensive so I got these three shirts and the last thing I got is this which I already wore that's why it's all wrinkled <laughs> okay so oh wow it looks pretty bad in camera but I got this cute top um Holding it up like this does not do it justice, so I hope you guys can tell when I'm trying it on that it's just a super, super cute top. It's this um, checkered, or do you call this pattern gingham? I'm not sure. Um, top that's pink and white. It's super, super cute. I love it because of this like knot here, um, which falls perfectly here for me. And it hugs the body and kind of makes me look thinner. When I'm not. Um, I like that the sleeves are pretty big and they're cut in such a way that when you're wearing it, it looks ruffled on your sleeve and that's it's just super super cute. I know this looks like it's pretty low down here, but for me it's just perfect that it doesn't show all the stuff that it's not supposed to. And yeah, I really love this top. Of everything I got, I feel like this is one of my favorites together with the this white crop hoodie thing that I got and yeah so that's the last thing I got every time I am getting ready for a haul like this I'm always like oh my god it's gonna take me forever um, I bought so many things but when I'm actually talking I realize that I didn't get a ton of things but anyway I hope this video was helpful um, I really do recommend you guys to go shopping in Tai Tai. I know that some people don't like shopping in places like Tai Tai where it's open, it's hot, it's it's a place where there are a ton of people and you have to check each and every single stall to find something nice. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's just worth it. You know, like I feel like looking for the items that are nice in such a huge place is part of the fun of shopping and yeah everything was super inexpensive um i hope this video helped you if you're on a budget but you still want to go shopping or you're in need of clothes so thank you so much for watching please please subscribe if you have not done that yet and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye
Meanwhile, across town, in this less than fashionable cubby hole of the San Francisco Examiner, these editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made, the newest form of electronic journalism lights up Mr. Howard.